see is this thing on. Okay, cool. All right. Check this out, people. I'm going to teach you a little something. Now, what do I know, right? I'm just a dumb truck driver. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of new drivers that they're having to put clutches in trucks. Now, I'll be honest with you, I can run a clutch for like ever. Um, you are the wear item when it comes to your clutch. And there's gonna people, be people out there that say, oh, well, I'm easy on a clutch and all this stuff. Okay, cool. Tell me all about it. Well, make it in, put it in the comments below how you so easy on a, a clutch. If you change one out at like, you know, 300,000 miles and stuff. Now, there's a lot of, a lot of people that are running a lot of city, you know, and it's stop and go and this kind of stuff, but you can still be easy on a clutch. You can still make a clutch last. But I'm hearing these people in their shop bills, which I could do it either way, man. I'll get up under there with uh, some of my friends and change it out if I have to. Or if it's under warranty, you know, anything that's under warranty, I can get done. I, I can go to the Freightliner and take and put a new clutch in it. There's a hundred different ways of doing things. But I don't need one. Um, there's a reason why a clutch lasts for people that know. Okay? Now listen to me. You, you've been trained how to drive a truck. You got a CDL. I, man, that's good. You've been driving for how many years? That's great. Okay? But if you've got bad habits, you will wear out a clutch. Now, a lot of people will think, oh, he's talking about riding a clutch. Oh, he's talking about, you know, um, being hard on a clutch, not, you know, and, and, you know, you could shift without using a clutch going down the highway, which is what a lot of us do. You could do it the other way. It doesn't matter how you do it. Um, you can wear out a clutch. And these companies are making you wear your clutch out if they haven't trained you, but they've got you using your clutch all the time. I'll tell you how it is, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about driving, okay? Don't get it twisted. I'm being, I'm training you right now. So just just put your little training hat on. Just chill for a second. Say, okay, Chuck and Stuff says he's going to teach me something. He showed me some other stuff. He seems to know what he's talking about. Let's just listen. Give him a chance. Okay, fine. All right, so here, the easiest way to do this is actually, if I'm gonna teach, I'll try to show you something off of a notepad or something, right? Check this out. Let's see what I can't do. Let's see what I can't do. All right, if I can teach y'all something with a piece of paper and my little uh, artwork here. Let's, let's start from scratch. Okay. I don't necessarily need this uh, clipboard, but here's how I'm going to do it. Check this out, people. If you have an 18-wheeler, this is going to be the worst drawing of an 18-wheeler. Okay. Your truck is here. This is you sitting up here in the seat, right here. Okay, and then, okay, that's your tractor. Okay, now, you got your trailer that goes back here. This is gonna be probably the worst drawing that I've ever made. This is impromptu. I wouldn't even gonna draw nothing. I'm telling you people, I'm being honest. All right, look, now, if you're pulling into a dock, when you back into a dock, so that this guy over here with the forklift, okay, coming off of his little dock back here, okay, so that this guy off this forklift doesn't nosedive down this way, okay, so he doesn't nosedive, they want you to put the trailer tandems to the rear. They want you to slide the tandems to the rear. Everybody knows that. Okay. 
worst depiction of tires and rims, it's all good. Now, when you do that, okay, you're pulling the pin out right here. And here's the rail with all the holes under the trailer. Like I said, worst depiction of anything ever. Fine. Keep watching. All right, so they want you to tra slide the trailer tandems to the rear. Then once they get you loaded, that is over the bridge law because you're past 41 foot. You're going to learn about that. That's a different video for me to teach you. That's fine. No worries. Just remember about the 10th hole from the front. And I know you probably can't read this, but I'm writing it in here anyway. The 10th hole from the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is about as far as you want to go because that's probably pretty much the 41 mark. Okay, and this is a bad depiction. You know, you're going to need some more holes up in here to make that actually correct. Let's just go with it. I'll tell you what I do. After he's done loading you because he wants the trailer tandems to the rear so that it doesn't hurt his back when he goes in here and it doesn't, the trailer doesn't tail dive and he doesn't nose dive you know both happens the trailer will tip down if you don't have axles under here to hold it up while he's loading a heavy load probably with a heavy forklift okay so here's the thing you have done slid those trailers to the back now to be under 41 feet you got to slide them back to the front back this way you got to try to slide these tandems so that they're legal now what I do is this I slide them all the way to the front, owner operator style, okay, if it's lightweight, so that there's more weight on the tires of the trailer, so it doesn't wear out my tires. It'll wear out the trailer tires of the company I'm pulling the trailer for, okay? That's one trick I do. The second trick is if it's heavy, once you've slid it all the way to the front, I go back about the seventh hole, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I start there. Start there with the pin, the first pin of this here being in this hole. Now, if you do that, you got a good starting point. You could start all the way up here, but once you go to do your second way or your reway at the scale house, I mean the scales at the, at the fuel stop, using their DOT scales to get legal before you cross the state scales, um, if you start way up here, you already know your way illegal. So if you go to the seventh hole, okay, and know where you started at, you can go back to that point if you mess up and go too far, but start at the seventh hole, you got something to work with. You might even be legal, okay? By the 10th hole, is about the farthest, or 11th hole, I believe it is, 41 foot. So I start about the seventh hole, okay? But here's the problem with the clutch. Here's what you're doing that might be a bad habit that you need to break, or you might never been taught this. Okay, when you're sliding these axles back and forth, there's two ways of doing it. You can pull the tractor up, okay, with the, the clutch is engaged. In other words, you've done put it in gear and let off the clutch and you're pulling up and then you can um, either, you know, pull this bar, you know, or if you started just by releasing your tractor brakes to do that, um, and you're using the truck's clutch, not the engine, you're using the clutch, you're wearing the clutch out. Okay? The optimum way to slide trailer tandems is to pull forward if you need to slide them to the rear. And then just before you're going to use this bar up here, the trailer brake, push the clutch in which I just did with my left foot, but you can't see. So I'm saying, look, I'll show you. If you're gonna slide, here's how you slide. Save your clutch. Okay, I'm fixing to do a tug test against, not against the, the kingpin, but against the trailers that I've already slid them and I've already pushed the pin back in, but I've gotta lock them into place and make sure they lock. This is the second part of what I do. So I'm like, wait, I'll show this video. Let's check it out, here's how you do it release the with, with your foot on the on the brake you know you release the tractor brakes you release the trailer brakes okay and then you put it into gear I'm waiting on this guy to pass me up as soon as he comes past 
be great. I'll just relight my cigar, let him know I'm chilling. Okay, light up the cigar here. So you got your foot on the brake, you're giving air to your tractor and your trailer to release all the brakes. Now, what you gonna do now? Well, put my cigar in my ashtray. Check this out. I'm gonna pull forward and just before I do the tug test, or it's, it's not a tug test, just before I pull the trailer brake, okay, to make sure I'm locking the pins, I'm sliding tandems. Anytime you're sliding, you push in the clutch just before and you let your momentum slide the trailer axles. Don't do it with the clutch. People, you're wearing out clutches. I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to tell you this is the way to do it. You release both brakes. I'm putting it into first gear, okay? Get some speed up, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna pull that after I push the clutch in. Watch this. Pulling forward, getting some speed up, pushing the clutch, hold the trailer brake. The clutch is in. I did not just wear my clutch at all. Same thing going backwards. Look, you want to make sure that it's locked in. Back up, get some speed, push in the clutch, pull the bar. Now, that's how you trail. That's how you slide trailer tandems. Because look, they're wanting you to do this every single day. Every day you do this, all day long, you are wearing out your clutch, people. What else could wear? Nothing. The transmission's fine with it. It can handle the power. The gears, the drive shaft, eh, not so much. You just grease it. It's fine. I'm telling you, turn my four-ways off. I'm trying to teach people here. Okay, listen to me. They got you sliding these all day long. And you're going up to the running to the mechanic. Hey, here's here's another couple thousand dollars. Put another clutch in it. Did I teach you something? <laughs> well, I don't know. Depends on if you put it into um, use, you know. But like I said, when you're sliding these axles, do not use your clutch to do it, and your clutch will last freaking forever. I'm just telling you, a lot longer than you're using them now. Now you're burning clutches up. All you drivers out there paying now, if it's a company truck, that's costing the company money. Did they teach you this in trucking school? No. Am I teaching you this here? Yes. Why? Because I want you to succeed. I'm not setting you up for failure. I'm setting you up for success. So look, check it out. You gotta slide the tandems to the rear so that you don't have this guy here hurt his back and it bump. And you know, you do it out of out of respect, but also a lot of them require it. Um, if they've got a heavy forklift or if it's a heavy load like paper rolls or some big pallet of, you know, who knows what kitty litter, whatever you're hauling, that heavy, as soon as it comes in, it's gonna nosedive, it's gonna it's gonna push the tail of the trailer down if you don't have your tandems back here. But then you gotta slide them back and make it legal. Like I said, back to my trick, I run it all the way up on our operator style. If it's lightweight. If I think it's going to be heavy, I go all the way forward with the with the tandems here. The tires are all the way forward up under the trailer, and then I go back about seven notches, and then I lock it there. Because between the shipper and the place where you can scale at a truck stop, you may or may not be crossing a state scale. Just in case, though, so you know that you're close, and so you don't have to move it a whole lot when you get to the truck stop. So they say first way or re reway, you're only going to do one reway instead of two start out in hole number seven now that's just me you you might be hauling something different i don't know i start at hole number seven and i go somewhere between seven and eleven and then you're at 41 foot mark now california says this is illegal all day long and they will stop you for driving down the road like this you will run over curbs if your axles are way back here don't leave out like this definitely slide them forward but don't use your clutch don't use your clutch now, I don't want to hear nobody else talking about, oh, I got a clutch, I got to go get a clutch. Look, look, this right here, doing what I told you to do, okay, when you're sliding these axles, using the trailer brake, not your clutch, will save your clutch. That's all I got for you, people.
Now I'm fixing to move some uh, freight. I got to do a regen now. It's done caught me. And, uh, you know, hey, I hope everybody's doing good. That's just a little something. Man, I should be smoking my cigar. Y'all people are killing me. I'm having to teach y'all all this stuff, man. You're killing my cigar time. <laughs> all right. I'm out. I'm out, people. Let me go. I got to go to work. Okay, y'all stay safe. I'm out. Peace.